what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today we're back here uh, at files valley barnuminium and we've been prepping uh, fabricating the steel so today we're going to be standing the steel up on this pretty large barnuminium i mean it's a barnuminium slash shop or living slash shop um, with some extended coverage area on the back side but uh, we're going to be getting into it today and standing this deal up. It's Monday morning, just after all this crazy weather we had here in Texas. And we are absolutely ready to get this thing going. So let's get it going. Here's our instrument of choice today. Uh, we got the, the big telehandler, uh, Genie. This is a 36 foot reach. Uh, today, what we're picking up, it's like a 55 foot spread of steel. So when we stand this up, it'll go from this side all the way to the other side. So it's pretty wide. Um, that's why we have the bigger machine here to lift it up. So, you know, we are also braced off here in the center. This keeps this heavy load from doing damage. So you got extra weld points all the way across there and that will be going all the way up. Oh. Had one of my offsets or one of my uh, base plates I had to modify just slightly. But you can see it's a lot of steel. But it looks pretty good. Got number 19s here. This is uh, 12 inch I beams. This steel is actually uh, USA. You now it's weird. Sometimes we get stuff that's uh, from Mexico. Sometimes it's from USA. Um, you can tell kind of what's going on here. I've got 12 inch. I've got the four inch, 12 inch, four inch, 12 inch. So this is the end wall. That's an end wall. Um, this is going as a dividing wall. Um, no, this is a dividing wall. And uh, so this will be the end of the living area. This will go in the kitchen portion. This will go at the dividing wall on the uh, shop side and then we'll be back to these. All right guys, so we just got this first I-beam stood up and what's gonna, you can tell already this is gonna be a big boy. So uh, we got four more to go to stretch across just on the shop area. And uh, then we'll have actually another uh, extended cover that we'll be building over there. But yeah, this is, uh, it's pretty good. It's 19 and a half feet on your eave heights so 
and then with a 312 pitch 55 foot span so that's what we're dealing with here like i said we got a uh, 12 inch i beam with uh it's a 19 pound which basically means it's 19 pounds per lineal foot so you can kind of do the the math about the weight there what we got going but um yeah the the telehandler handled it just fine uh it was it did feel pretty heavy but you know like i said we're going to be leveling this off and getting everything in place and our end braces like i said this normally takes us about an hour or so on the first one just because we got to put our extra braces off and we do have the skid steer here which has the teleboom on it so as you can see we've got it extended there we'll be tying that off to add some additional bracing um, right there as well so okay we're going to keep this thing moving appreciate you guys following along Right, guys so this is the second beam we got standing um, everything's going pretty good but uh, when they put the chains on it was a little off balance so it took us a minute to uh, get everything set up straight but we're going good we're gonna keep moving along Okay guys, so we've got three of our main frames are up and we're gonna, we're about, so now the ones that we're laying are in the shop area. And so all of the house main frame has been laid at this point. Um, we've been putting purlins and right now we're chaining off the next uh, beam over here. I don't know if you can see, but uh, this is kind of where we're getting ready to stand the next one up. Um, we got, Two more left, and the mainframe will be standing other than purlins and all the stuff that we got to do here. Uh, so, you know, there's still obviously quite a bit more work to do, but this is traditionally what we do is we will film this stage of the game. Um, I'm interested to see at some point if I could kind of show you guys something different, but uh, you know, this particular build, the Files Valley Barnuminium build, this is a two-story build. Um, you know, it's between two and 3,000 square foot. I'll get you the numbers. I want to say 2,200 right off the top of my head. Um, but it is a multi-level, so we have an upstairs with a couple of bedrooms upstairs. We've got a master bedroom downstairs and uh, three bathrooms, I believe. Uh, there is a pretty good-sized shop on the end down that way and then there will be another additional covered area and then the front porch is where i'm standing right now there will be porch on front and side uh, where the parking is uh, you know and then this porch actually is pretty cool it faces out this way uh, which has a water view back that way so anyways like i said we're getting ready to uh stand up the last couple of pieces and then we'll be mostly done for today and then we'll spend several more days here doing purlin work and all that kind of stuff so 
Uh, there's quite a bit left to do, but as far as what we're doing here today, we're getting really close. So one of the things I can tell you that we just did that you didn't see on camera is we actually slid everything over this way because I have the way we built these uh, beams, it's sitting right here uh, is where our beam uh, embed is. So these were sitting on top of that embed. So in this case, sometimes I'll move them out, but this time we moved it over. That's what uh, uh, Moy wanted to do. So we, we slid it over so that we can just pick this one up, stand it here, and then we'll be able to just grab the next one, but go forward instead of having to get off the pad in order to accomplish all of that. So uh, those are just some of the little things you don't, you don't see. Trying to do a little bit of cleanup. Brandon's uh, blowing off the pad here with the blower and getting all the mud and everything that we've been accumulating all day off of here. Okay, so it's basically almost the end of the day and we've got one more frame to stand up and that'll be it for today because we're just trying to basically be done with this big uh, 36 uh, telehandler and the rest of everything we'll be uh, doing over the next course of a couple days. So anyways, we're about to get this last one stood up and uh, get out of here for the day so uh, all right here goes one more okay guys that pretty much is it we have got the final one standing uh, one two three four five of them big boys and we've had a pretty successful day, so everything's went our way. Um, thank the Lord for good weather today, because you know we had a bad run of it last week. I don't know how many of you guys are in the Texas area, but um, probably one of the worst storms that I can recall as far as weather-wise. Um, I guess what made it the, the worst was uh, the rolling power outages and all of the, you know, concern for not having power i think that was the biggest deal but you know uh, the lesson of the day on that is just remembering that if you have family and you have friends and you have one another and community um, then you know there's still hope so and and the lord so uh, god has always been good to us i know but anyways i appreciate you guys watching if you uh, haven't already subscribed to the channel I hope you guys do that now this is gonna be a great big barnuminium to see when it's all said and done you guys are gonna love it um, it's a two-story files valley barnuminium that's what this is called uh, we'll be working after we'll be working here on this uh, so some of the next things after we get all the steel is gonna be to get the roof done and then the wood framing and everything else that's to follow but uh, we got a lot more to come. It's been a beautiful day. I appreciate you guys following along. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Josh Helm, wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Texas Best.